Hi, I'm Neil Rothenbuehler, president of Rothenbuehler Engineering. I'm going to show you a quick operational video on how to use our Model 1674 remote firing system. This is our small unit meant for the small to medium sized mines and it shoots shock tube only. This is our control unit. This is our remote unit and you can have two of these orange ones, two remotes in this system. So we, with this we have our security key or our enable key. Uh, not all units have this. It can be programmed from the factory to need a key or not. Most of them do not use the key. It depends on your mine and your safety procedures. You have two shock tube tips that come with it and an antenna. So on the controller it's an antenna and your enable key. There's also a battery charger that comes with each unit. So let's go ahead and hook this up. I put my antenna on. It goes in the middle. And my enable key. If you have one. Like I said, not all units will have this. And this doesn't twist. It just pushes down. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. You see the lights are blinking. That's a kind of a light check. Make sure they're all operating. Then it settles down and stops blinking, goes solid. So I have the yellow light here is my key light. If I pull that out, it goes away. It tells me that I have a good key in there. And my antenna, this light is my on light. Over here is my ready light. So that tells me that the unit is safe to hook up to. There's no energy inside. If anything's blinking or if that's a red light, you don't want to be hooking up to it when it's armed. So you'd probably do a, a disarm on it. So now I'd want to put in my shock tube tip. Notice there's two tips here. One of them is wrapped in plastic still. That tells me that it's a brand new unit, never been used. And this one is open and uh, been used quite a bit. Uh, when this wears out, I want to make sure I have a brand new one available to go in. These are good for about 200 to 300 shots. I'll push it in there hard. Okay, This is basically ready. I'm going to do a battery test just to double check my batteries. See, I have the three lights down here that come on. Green is good, better than 80%. The yellow one is uh, oh, uh, better than 40%. And then my red one tells me that hey, I'm getting really low and eventually all the lights go out. So if it's red, you might be able to get a shot off, but uh, you should go get it charged before you let it sit or do too much. Okay. Also notice the disarm here. If that red light is on over here where it says armed, uh, you want to hit the disarmed and, and make sure it goes green before you do any hookups. Yeah, I have a shock tube loaded into a tip and you see how it's looped around and that's what we want to do for strain relieving on the unit. So if you don't do that, the, um, the shock tube will tend to come off of the needle. Inside that big hole is a, a needle. Let's see if I can get a good background there. You can see the shock tube is over the needle. And that's the needle in there without the shock tube on it. So you put that on there and then pull it tight into a, a pretty good loop. Um, tighten it up so that you can shake it and it won't come off. So that's all ready to go. Um, and see I still have it green. I'd have my shock tube hooked up to it at this point and I'm ready to go off and set off the shot. Notice on this unit that we leave the lid open. Uh, this has a very tough front panel on it. It's tougher than the Pelican case. Uh, so it's okay to get it dirty. You can always wash it off under the sink or it's submersible. So now I'm gonna go off to where I'm gonna shoot my shot. And again, I put the antenna on before anything else.
I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and do my battery test. And you see this one's down uh, probably about 80% right now. And again, uh, you see I, I left with just a green light here. That's just, uh, it tells me that I have a real weak signal. If I get my finger close to the antenna, that goes away. That's actually a computer in my office here that causes enough noise to make that light up. If you're out in the field and that light's on or it's blinking at you, uh, you might have an interfering signal in, in the area. So I'm going to put my security key in here. I'm lining up the, the big tab. You can see that on there. The big tab goes away from you and it goes right in there really nice. Okay, so that's on. Notice that my key light is on here. It was also on over here too. So that's the same type of thing here. So I know I'm going to be using number one. I'm going to select it. If I wanted to, I could select number two, but I don't have a second unit here. So I'm going to leave that off. Number one selected. I do a status check, which is two-way communication. That tells me here that the green light is the same as that green light. Well, I'm sorry, this one over here, that tells me that I'm in a safe condition. I'm ready. It's selected, and the battery at the remote is in good shape. It's not blinking. Um, if that was blinking, the battery in the remote might be getting weak or, or run down. So it gives me a remote indication of the battery. So I can push a status as much as I want to check my comms, make sure that everything is solid, no blinking lights. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna go ahead and arm. You see the lights blinking, now it's gonna go solid. That means it's confirmed that it's got the communication and it's ready to fire. So I can do my countdown, my sirens, whatever I want. That'll stay on for 20 minutes. So when I'm ready to fire, I'm gonna push both these fire buttons or if I want, I can push my disarm button and disarm it. Let's go ahead and do that. And you see in about four seconds, it disarms and it confirms that it's disarmed. So if somebody came on the shot, you could stop it and disarm it and make it safe again. So now we're armed, ready to fire again. I'm going to push my two buttons. You'll see the spark tip uh, spark. Okay. It sparked and went back to green. I got a green here. So if I can't see that remote, I see a green light here that tells me that the remote fired and it got rid of its energy. It gives me a good indication if I didn't hear the shot go off or couldn't see it, um, then this gives me a good in indication that the machine tried to fire. But it also tells me now that the machine is in a safe condition if I need to approach. So that's about the basic imp information on how to operate the system. I'll talk a little bit more in another video about the particulars on troubleshooting as well as some of the advanced features of the system. So thank you for watching.